Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Gunpowder and Freedom. So, as you can see behind me, we have a dumpster and we have a 305 down at my house. Which means, demolition day is here. Yes, say goodbye to the carport. This giant eyesore of a thing is finally coming down. I should have ripped this down, oh boy, three or four years ago. And I should have redid this floor. Uh, well, now push comes to shove. Here we are. I have no choice, but I have to do it. Uh, if you saw my little update video, uh, we have water coming into our basement. So I need to get this thing down. I need to get the floor ripped up and I need to re-waterproof that wall if I have any chance of selling this in the next three to four years and getting, you know, half decent money for it. So uh, what I'm going to start by doing is, sorry, I'm pacing back and forth, uh, getting a game plan on my head. Uh, I have pretty much everything out of here with the exception of the freezer. I'm not really concerned about that now. Uh, this dumpster that I rented from Junk Kings is 11 feet long. However, I'm gonna double check that measurement, but I believe those sheets of fiberglass are 12 feet. So provided that is the actual measurement, I'm gonna go ahead and just take my awesome power saw. Where'd it go? right there. I'm going to take that. I'm going to set the blade down so it just hits that bottom ridge and I'm going to cut all of these right in half. Now I bet you're saying to yourself, but Steve, that's going to destroy your blade. Yeah, but that blade's already junk and has been needed changing for a couple years now. I was cutting concrete board with it when I was doing the tile work in my shower and it's been garbage since then. So I figure one more garbage time use isn't going to hurt anything. So Let's get this all set up and uh, get this nightmare of a project underway. Okay, so first what I'm gonna do is you can kind of see I have this line going from where one of the strapping boards is underneath. You can kind of see that I don't really know why uh, it does it, but there's a highlighted line there, but there are screws every couple feet. So I'm gonna get go ahead and yank those out just so I don't clip one and uh, send a saw blade shard flying up into my face. That would not be really that fun. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do. And I hope you enjoy the time lapse of this. Okay, now that we got that cut, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull all these screws that are still left in here. There's two rows here and two rows up top there. And then I need to go track down some gloves because if you've ever messed with fiberglass, you know that it kinda sticks into your fingers and sticks into your hands and it's not the most pleasant of feelings. So yeah, safety first. Okay, so look at that. We got daylight coming through the roof. Uh, that fiberglass came off relatively easy. Uh, there's this one piece here that is cut and the downspout is dropped into it. So i uh, going to just kind of work my way ripping this stuff off, all these trusses and whatever else you want to call them. Um, now, I feel like these are going to come off relatively easy. I see a couple spikes going into this. Uh, I guess you can call that a hanger board, but I mean, for the most part, I mean, this truss is, is split or no, that's cut and it's split at the house. That one's split at the house. That one is, that one's cut. There's one nail holding that one on. 
So in my opinion, I think this thing's coming down pretty easy. I'm fitting everything I can into this dumpster and uh, it's leaving on Monday. So I gotta get going and I still need to get that freezer up to my mom and dad's. There's a ton of carpenter bees in there as well. And I don't think they are too pleased at what's going on. So back to work. Okay, so this battery is about to die, but I just wanted to show you how careful I was for once doing demo. Uh, we had that piece of fiberglass roofing cut out around the downspout, so I carefully took my side cutters, uh, usually used for siding or sheet metal, and I cut out around it and got it out carefully and didn't damage the downspout. Uh, I wanted to kind of point that out because I'm not doing anything to the overhang just yet. Uh, that's going to stay in place while I deal with ripping the concrete out, digging out the foundation for the garage, and uh, just kind of keeping some water protection there. I don't want the water coming off the roof, landing on the, the driveway here and uh, sitting up against that wall. So almost done. We got uh, just a, like two more walls, three more walls. Um, I'm probably gonna end up taking the down. Oh, it's a tab right there, so I'm glad I actually looked at that. I'm gonna have to take that apart there, take it apart there, and then probably end up rehooking it up. So, let's have at it. So I got this downspout connected, disconnected, sorry. That way when I rip this wall down, it doesn't come down with it and I can then reattach it and 
help keep the water away from my house. And now that I'm actually almost done, look who showed up. I came for the pizza. We're having pizza? That's what Rachel said. I had like pizza every day <laughs> this week at some point in time. Wonderful. But I'm all right with it. So, all right. Well, no, I actually thought you just started like an hour ago. <laughs> I kind of did. I figured you were <laughs> less progress than actually completing the whole thing in an hour. No, nah, no, nah, it all went pretty good. You could probably return those. There's, there's still, there's still price tags there. on it. Just take it to Home Depot. It's defective. Like, hey, this is only in my front yard for like a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened to it, why it's all rotten. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get this wall ripped down. Enjoy. Okay, so there it is. The entire carport has been ripped down thanks to the cat 305 and Julian and, Julian and Elliot, wherever he went. Julian and Elliot showed up here the I last little bit. Demo. Thank you very much. And uh, helped me with this wall here and uh, a lot of the cleanup. So that is going to do it for today. Uh, tomorrow begins the removal of all the concrete. So we're going to go ahead and break it off right there. Even though I can't really make videos just yet, and we're just going to make a ton of videos for when my office gets put back together. I'm going to have like a video every day for three weeks. 
So uh, I want to thank you guys for tuning back in to another episode of Gunpowder and Freedom. If you liked what you saw, please click the like and subscribe. Don't forget to like us on Instagram, and don't forget to check out our store on Etsy. Uh, this might begin my series that I think would be kind of funny. I also might even start another YouTube channel. I don't know. Drop a comment and let me know what you think. But uh, it would be called, we'll figure it out. Stuff I don't know how to do, but we'll figure it out. So let me know what you guys think. I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.